When's the last time you guys saw each other? It's been about four or five months uh, ago. Yeah. Is it weird watching a sunrise through through these Virginia trees? The Actually, it's refreshing. It's I very bet. refreshing. I'm scared. <laughs> I bet. Because uh, over there, it's uh, it's basically barren. It's uh, this is as long as I've been away from my family. It's good to be able to, to come back and hold them for a little while longer, you know. So Paul, Michael, Webb, guys, we have a new designer on board. Everybody meet Phyllis. Hi, 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 hi. I'm so excited. Well, I'm glad you're here, man. So guys, we're headed to Farmville, Virginia to meet the Lucas family, which is Gene, Michael, and little Joe. Now, there's someone missing in this picture, and that's actually the dad. Now, Michael uh, is in the National Guard here in Virginia. Him and about 1,800 men and women have been deployed to Iraq. And before he left, he had a dream to build his family a dream house. Well, that dream's been put on hold. Take a look at this tape. You'll see why we're here. Hi, ABC. We're the Lucas family from Rice, Virginia. I'm Jean. I'm the mom. Their dad, Michael, is serving overseas. I'm Michael. I'm 11. And this is Joe. Welcome to our home. Michael Lucas has always been passionate about history, especially the history of his home state of Virginia. He spent a lot of time helping to preserve Virginia's landmarks and historic battlefields. Michael loved history so much that he and his wife, Jean, even saved for years so they could buy land that had been part of a historic Civil War battle. This is the land where Michael would build a home for his family. I'm sitting here at the house my husband started building for my family. It was gonna be our dream house, and then we found out he was going to be deployed to Iraq. When Michael went to war, he left behind his family and their dreams. Their dream home now sits unfinished and is slowly being destroyed by the elements. When we bought this land, it was so beautiful and we had so many hopes for it. And now he's, you know, he's halfway across the world and it just, it just makes me sick to come here and see this. My um, father not being here to help me finish this, it makes me really sad. My one wish is that Papa will come home safe Gene and the boys had no choice but to stay in the old small rental house that they've been living in. Guys, the rental house is in really bad shape. There are leaks and holes throughout the house and only one working heater. This isn't a good place for us to be. I, I just wanted to run away from this a hundred times this week because I didn't want everybody to see how bad my house is. If that isn't bad enough, this family has some other challenges. Their youngest son, Joe, is autistic and he requires a lot of care and attention. I miss Joe! Michael worries nonstop about his family and their living situation. And back in Virginia, Gene and the boys are scared that Michael's worrying too much about his family and not focusing on staying alive. I'll be sitting in the living room and I'll think, I hear a car and I go, oh, he's home. And then it hits me. No, he's not home and he's not coming home for a really long time. And I don't have to see him come home and, and just have to go over to that land and, and look at that. It's hard enough for me to go over and see it. I don't like to think about anything happening to him, but I think um, having all of this stuff in his mind is not helping him stay safe. Please come help our family so that my husband doesn't have to come home and see all of his work that he did on our house crumbling and falling apart. Wow. So, I mean, here's the thing. We've got to finish this guy's dream, get his family in a decent house. Now, when I was seeing this tape, I realized one thing missing here is dad. So I made some phone calls, pulled some strings. He's on his way here right now. No oh, way. Wow. That's awesome. So what do you think? Can we make this happen? Oh. Oh. We're bringing their people to it happen. Are you with me? Oh, yeah. Yes. Let's do it. It was awesome. I mean, you can tell he was a little overwhelmed. I mean, it's gotta be quite a culture shock. You know, coming from thousands of miles away in Iraq and flying in to your hometown and you know you're about to go wake up your wife and, and kids. I feel like I just got born or something. <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you guys saw each other? It's been about four or five uh, months ago. Yeah. 
Is it weird watching a sunrise through through these Virginia trees? The Actually, it's refreshing. On. It's I very bet. refreshing. I bet. Because over there, it's uh, it's basically barren. It's uh, this is the longest I've been away from my family. It's good to be able to, to come back and hold them for a little while longer, you know. I'm very proud to be with the United States Armed Services, but the opportunity presented itself for me to be able to be with my family, and I'm grateful that I was able to come home. I just can't wait to be home. So, Michael, stay on the bus, all right? You're the surprise. Everybody, let's go wake up the family. Woo! All right. Come on, everybody, come on. You guys ready? Yeah. Good morning, Lucas family! Gene, Michael, Joe, come on out here! Oh, there! Oh, there! Oh, there, To see them come out running and happy and excited and... I had butterflies, you know, uh, waiting to anxiousness to see my family, and, <laughs> and I wasn't even worried about the house or anything like that. I was in, I just wanted to hold them, and that was all that mattered. Here's the thing, I, I know things have been pretty rough, but hopefully we're gonna try and make things a little better. Yeah. I have a surprise for you. I think you're gonna like this. Okay. <laughs> 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 Okay. Uh -huh. What do you think of all this mess? It's great. When Michael came off the bus, it was just like a weight was just lifted off of me um, that I've been carrying around. Just almost like I hadn't breathed in months when I saw him again. <laughs> We were in absolute awe of that moment. There's so many people that had gathered around us to help us. It was just the proudest moment of my life. couldn't finish our dream home. Uh, you know, it was it was such a disappointment for all of us. It was our family dream, and we just, it's like, we had to let it go. Seeing, you know, our brand new house, it makes me feel relieved to know that he doesn't have to feel like he has this weight hanging over him of, I've got to go home and finish this. Oh, it, it, oh. oh look at this. Oh, God. Look at this. <laughs> wanted to close my eyes and, and then open them and look at it, and I couldn't believe that it was there. And considering what it, we had started to build, it has been amazing to see that dream brought to life. It's it, everything that I could have ever imagined it to be. What do you guys think? It's wow. Awesome. It's just amazing. Staircase, very much like the uh, Shadow House would have been. Yeah. Uh, I mean, dude, check out your kitchen. You guys have got the brick flooring. It's perfect. Michael really wanted to make this kitchen very special for you guys. So uh, he actually liked to come in here and actually tell you a few things about it, because I have to say, this thing turned out incredible. It's beautiful. There he is now. Come on in. Hey, guys. <laughs> How do you like the kitchen? It's perfect. Did, did I do OK yes, for you? Yes, you read my mind. Oh, right on. Absolutely. Well, I've got really good news for you, because right behind you is a nice treat. You don't have to do any more dishes ever again. And this has a really great scour feature. You can actually just throw them in there, and that does all the work for you. And I actually have something else that I think you're going to like. Our friends at Whirlpool want to make sure that things are as easy as they can be for you guys. So they've supplied you with a $10,000 house maintenance fund. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that is awesome. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Being a soldier's wife has been a lot harder than I thought it would be because it takes a lot of energy to be a mom of two boys. And now I have a really nice kitchen with everything I could possibly need. It's gonna make it so much easier, and you know, I, it's, it's not gonna be such, it's not gonna be a chore at all. <laughs>
home. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wow. It's Chatham. It's Chatham. Oh, that is beautiful. There's this painting of Chatham, and to see that, it felt like I was home. It was a homecoming. It was, it was the greatest thing that I could ever think of.